Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and beside me, I've got an ANET ET4. Friends, this one had a bad flash and it stuck at the logo screen. Friends, this web page says it can fix it. We're going to give it a try. So let's get cracking. Real quickly, just want to send a shout out to Carl. Thank you for putting this up here. He's got all kinds of research. He's got this little adapter, which I bought with this link. In the pouch, we get this lovely little adapter. Do note that these are different than his pictures, and we get the jumper cables. All right, so let's get the link to the ST-Link utility and two versions of the firmware. I'm gonna hit download, and I'm gonna put it in my downloads folder. All right, friends, so here is where I downloaded that. Let's use 7-Zip and let's extract it here. In my new ET4 folder, this is the installer. We're gonna extract it as well. Once again, 7-Zip extract here. And let's do the install process. Tell it yes. Let it run through all the little things it needs to do. Give it a next, a yes. Let it have its default location. Next on the drivers, finish and finish. Friends, make sure you double check how yours is labeled. As you can see, mine goes SWC, SWD, and then ground, unlike the one in the picture. So make sure yours is labeled the way you are connecting your wires. All right, so here we go. Our black wire is going on the ground, which is the third on the right side of these pins. Black is commonly the ground wire, so that's why I'm using that color for that one. And then just make sure that your pins match the label on your device. All right, so if we look at this one closely, the next one is the SWD. And the last one we'll use white is the SWC. So I've intentionally tried to pick colors that were more clear for when we're plugging them in to the board. And you can see we're on the right side and we're using the first three. Once again, double check your labels because mine is different than the one on the website. All right, and then in here, we're attaching these pins closest to the chip. Remember the first one is the ground. If we look back at our programmer quick, C is the white one and D is the brown one. With the white one and then the brown one and the gray one gets left alone. Alrighty friends, at this time, with it all connected up, we need to power it on. Make sure you're careful of all the things in here. You don't want to touch them. All right, so let's click on start and to find it, let's type STM in the search and that way the app pops up. That's the only way I can spot it. And then we need to do file, open file and go to that downloads folder and find the bin. I'm gonna use the 1.12 bin and choose open. All right, friends, so I've connected it to the PC with the USB cable. It is powered on and those wires are there. That's a view of the screen and we are gonna click target and we're gonna choose program. I left all those boxes alone and all we need to do is go down and click start. And of course, just wait patiently for the process to finish. I was hoping we would see progress on the screen, but as you can see, it just took a minute or so and then it rebooted. Alrighty friends, so there you have it. The ET4 is back up and running. Once again, huge shout out to Carl. Thank you for having these steps up there and have the files to a place where we can track them down. Of course, friends, if you liked the video or found it useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.